What a year it has been. There were so many games in 2021 that were supposed to be released and ended up being pushed back or just delayed, but it wasn't all doom and gloom. At least it means that there was somewhat of a treasure trove for the future of the strategy genre. In my years of talking about historical games, RTS or grand strategy has always been a mainstay, with titles such as Age of Empires, Total War, Men of War all leading the way. But what's next? What can we expect in the near future? And what are the best upcoming strategy games of 2022? If you haven't already, go and check out my latest interview with the Total War and Men of War YouTuber Diplex Heated over on my Deep Dive podcast channel. Make sure you click the link in the description to subscribe. Total War Warhammer 3. One of the most anticipated games and really the bookend to Games Workshop and Creative Assembly's partnership. The first was in 2015, the second in 2017, and now the third was supposed to grace our screens all the way back last year. However, as predicted by many, Total War Warhammer 3 was delayed. The new release date, 17th of February 2022, expanding on what the Warhammer franchise has already accomplished within the Total War series, with massive grand strategy maps, trading, building armies, conquering the races of Kislev, Cathay, Ogre Kingdoms, and of course, other brilliant Chaos factions, Nurgle perhaps being one of my favourites. Personally though, I'm looking forward to what will become of the Mortal Empires campaign. The free update that linked together the campaigns of Warhammer 1 and 2, so hopefully the third will cap off the end to perhaps be one of the biggest overall strategy games of all time when all three of them come together. Company of Heroes 3. Okay, this is kind of an interesting one for me. You see, the Company of Heroes franchise has always been something that I've been aware of, yet Men of War games have always taken my eye. The arcadey nature of Company of Heroes somewhat put me off, and whilst it seems like the third iteration is heading even more in that direction, I am still a massive fan of the mechanics between the grand strategy and the RTS battles themselves. The demo for Company of Heroes 3 came out earlier in 2021. A lot of people got to play it, and me myself made a video on what I thought of it back then. And, I mean, overall, it was okay. I don't think anyone was all that blown away, yet there is a ton more potential with the franchise going on into the future. Heading into the Mediterranean, a lot of focusing on the battles in Italy, giving it a brilliantly beautiful backdrop for the horror that begins to ensue. The campaign map being bigger than ever, bringing in complete sandbox style to give players the opportunity for more freedom in which battles they choose to fight and which they choose to avoid. And my god, does the game look good. Broken Arrow. You may not have heard about Broken Arrow, and actually nor have I since I saw Slytherin's big announcements at Christmas. The company have made a lot of strategy games in the past. Things like Battle Sector, Warhammer 40k, they've made Field of Glory, which is a great medieval strategy game, and now they're making Broken Arrow. This upcoming game is very similar to what we've seen in games like War Game. You know, if you've ever played War Game Red Dragon, it's a pretty fun game. Go and check it out. But Broken Arrow is large open warfare, this time set in the modern day, using infantry, armor, airstrikes, strikes and helicopters to capture sites and conquer objectives. I actually did make a full video going in depth about the title, but whilst the info we have on it so far is pretty sparse, Slytherin have a lot of experience with this strategy genre, so I'm glad it's in their hands. The gameplay that we have been shown so far though looks immersive as hell, and my god, who doesn't want to have a ton of rocket artillery on their side blasting down on unsuspecting enemy armour? Diplomacy is not an option. I don't know the better way to describe this than it's basically medieval they are billions. So far we've had a free demo that's actually available on Steam at the moment. It's kind of an endless survival. You do all your basics of starting with a little town. You build houses so villagers can come and join you. The more villagers you have, the more you'll be able to eventually turn into soldiers to help defend your walls. Gathering resources like wood, iron, berries, building up the infrastructure and hoping to eventually defend yourself from the oncoming waves. There are a lot of undead guys coming for you. Of course, like they are billions, it builds up over time, and I really do love the medieval setting, giving the option for infantry, archers, and of course, artillery. Being able to build fortifications like wooden walls, gates, towers that you can position archers on is just very, very satisfying. Cutting down wave after wave of oncoming enemy hordes, and my god, when you get to the higher levels, there are so many of them. I'd normally be destroyed before I got to any of those points though, but it is a good little game. The demo is actually a lot of fun, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what the full game can offer, but I guess we're going to have to find out in 2022. 
Before we get to the final spot, I wanted to just give an honorable mention. Ancient Wars Sparta Definitive Edition is, well, the definitive edition of Ancient Wars Sparta. Quite an old strategy game now, coming out in the early 2000s, but it's basically Age of Empires with Greeks. It's kind of cool, and I'm glad they're bringing out a definitive edition. But I didn't think it was enough for its own space on the list. But it's coming. But what could be the number one strategy game that I'm looking forward to in 2022? Well, most of you probably clicked on this video because you saw what it was in the thumbnail. And yes, it is still Manor Lords. I'm not really sure if I need to introduce Manor Lords all that much. It's kind of probably the game everyone's looking forward to now. A new look into strategy games. A mix between city builders and Total War style strategy battles on a much smaller scale, however. Being way more intimate to how you build up and the relations between you and your villagers. You being the lord and the villagers being the people that give you money. Recruit people, train them into archers and infantry, form your barracks and then take them to war. Training between regions is possible to continue diplomacy between lords and of course honouring the king. But if all else fails, you can ride into battle with the full in-depth and detailed RTS events. It's so well done. From what we've seen so far, it looks absolutely beautiful. The amount of gameplay that we've been shown is still kind of on the smaller end, but I'm hoping that we'll get some more in the near future because it's set to potentially come out in 2022. Being able to have these simple mechanics like just retreating lines or fatigue that builds up over time with your troops. Of course, you'll be starting with more peasant soldiers, but you can also get the retinue that ride into battle on horseback with your lord. They're a limited soldier, but they are incredibly powerful. Being able to fire at will or volley fire with your archers, the amount of effort that's gone into it, and on the most part being made by one person, it is a mind-blowing feat. But Battle Lords has got a lot of potential. There is a lot more still coming out about it, so I'll be sure to pick up on that when it does. Whilst unfortunately with the look of the title that we've seen so far, because it looks so good, there are some scepticisms. Will it live up to the hype that has been created around it? Is it actually going to be the game that people are expecting? I've seen a lot of misconceptions already that there's going to be full massive battles just like Total War, and whilst they're a similar style and definitely inspired by the Total War franchise, it is much more of an intimate look of medieval villages and city building. The battles are an addition to a city builder. It is not a battle simulator that has city building in it, meaning that the battles that we see are much smaller scale than something that we've ever had in a Total War game. However, I think what they're doing in terms of making it historically accurate, how it looks so goddamn beautiful, and if you followed any of the social medias and Twitter, and especially the Discord, you can see the amount of effort and detail that's been put into it. Simple things like villagers making tracks over time when they wear down the ground beneath them, being able to trade resources from one place to another, and of course, maybe even taking over regions for yourselves and having multiple places that you own. There's so so much coming towards Manor Lords and I can't wait to bring more info on it. But I'd love to see your list down in the comments. What strategy games are you most looking forward to in 2022? Let me know down below. But until then, I will see you in the next one.